And so I want to take you to Mole View. Uh, let's see, Mole View. Ma, yeah. At least I hope that's the way it's pronounced. Okay, this is the. Uh, this is actually the most impressive piece of freely available web software I've run across in a while. And you'll, you will notice that I've been using it to uh, make some of the images as well as get some of the names. Also, now that I'm showing you this tutorial, you will learn how to completely cheat on um, naming those structures. And uh, in way, one way, that's okay. Uh, in another way, I do want you to be able to name and draw the structures from scratch, and that's one of the things you will have to do. But I definitely want you to be good at this, uh, working with this software. So we're doing aromatic hydrocarbons, which means benzene rings, and uh, I'm going to make one right now. So it's a six carbon ring. There we go. Hey, I did pretty well. And there are three double bonds and now we will later learn that like there's not a double bond between these two carbons but not between that one it's actually shared all the way, all the way around okay now um, the little broomy thing here sweeps things up cleans them up there we go it's added the hydrogens on and then this magical engine will actually uh, draw the structure and this is this is the molecular architecture of benzene so I want you to make this. Um, you can export it, so you can uh, you can embed it, uh, which means uh, you know you can embed it in OneNote. <laughs> um, you can also download it. I forget where, but you can uh, you can actually download the image when you're done as well. Um, so do that. Put it in your notes somehow or other. Uh, we'll make a. I will get you to make a few benzenes. Nonetheless, here it is. Here's benzene, and here's the uh, here's the big secret information card. Oh, it comes up. It says benzene with a systematic name of benzene. Okay, and you have probably guessed that yes, we are going to name it with some side chains on it. So let's uh, let's let's. Uh, ooh, that was a mess. Okay, I'm gonna. I am going to undo what I just did. I'm going to undo that. Okay, I want to add a carbon here and a carbon here and I'm going to use the little broomy thing clean it up and now because I'm an inquisitive inquisitive sort well let's see what it looks like in 3d there it is that's what it would actually look like in 3d and these are important molecules they show up in hormones and pesticides and all that sort of stuff uh, okay let's go and find out what this is called information card all right, ethyl benzene. Are you surprised? I'm not surprised. And so this magic piece of software, you can easily reach its limit, by the way, and you can name things that uh, you can make things that it can't name. But I'm going to turn that into a carbon. I'm going to build that out, and I am going to be a betting person, and I'm going to say that this is. Uh, 1-ethyl-3-methyl-benzene information card. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, here we go. 1-ethyl-3-methyl-benzene. It's also uh, 3. This is toluene, by the way, so uh, I hadn't counted on it uh, jumping to toluene, but you can see that I actually got that right. Okay. Um... I think when I make this video, I'll put inspirational music in the background because I got that name right. Okay, good. Mole view. Uh, make some molecules, name them.